Hey everybody, happy Sunday to ya. Let me see if I've got everything going here. Everybody, happy Sunday to ya. All right, looks like I've got everything going. I'm gonna tilt that up just a little bit. Hi, this is Tara with Tara Beth Stamps. Um, thanks so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, um, as I said, I'm Tara Carpenter with Tara Beth Stamps. I'm an Stampin', independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Mid-Missouri. And tonight we're going to do a card using Stampin' Up! Seize the Day. Um, this bundle comes together in the January to June mini catalog. Um, the new catalog is out and it doesn't look like this is going to be a carryover. So if this is something that screams to you, um, you need to grab it and grab it quick because I don't know how how much longer this is going to be available. Um, it's it's really great for cards. It's really great for scrapbook pages for those ocean um, visits with all these fun little die cuts um, that you can make and stamp sets. So you don't want to miss out on this. So what I did was I used a ton of the new in colors with this because all of these blues screamed ocean front to me. Um, so we've got the Orchid Oasis, we've got the Sweet Sorbet, um, the Tahitian Tide, as well as the Parakeet Party. Um, I didn't use the Starry Night on this one. And then I brought in the new Stampin' Up. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Mary. Um, good to thank you, Rosie, for joining me. I appreciate it, everybody. Um, so this is the new Stampin' Up! Um, in Colors DSP, and man, all four patterns on this paper is awesome. So if you don't have that, make sure you go out and get this. This needs to be one of your first ones on the list, um, because it's so fun. So what we're going to do first is we are going to do a little bit of stamping. So let's see here. Oh, thanks, Mary. I love to use the bark embossing folder for water. That's one of my my go-tos. I see it more like water than I do um, bark itself. So the first thing we're going to pull out here is our sweet sorbet. Hey, Johnny, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to take my block and I'm going to put this little crab and just ink up my sweet sorbet. So when you get your new stamp sets, you're going to notice how there is tons and tons of ink. So what I do on that, so I don't get too much ink, is I just take my bone folder and kind of roll it back. And you can see there's quite a bit on that one. That way I'm not getting too much ink and I'm not losing it. It's just going to puddle down there at the bottom. And uh, that way I'm saving it. It's not going anywhere, but it's not going to be too juicy. So that's just one of those things. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I love, like I said, I love to use that, that bark for, for the uh, water in the back. That's just not inking well. Well, we're going to stamp it and see how it goes. All right, so we've got this cute little crab. Okay, yeah, that per worked out perfect. But you can see that ink is super thick in these new stamp sets but i like that i'd rather have them juicy than not inky at all so there we go and then i'm going to shut this one so i don't make well actually i'll go ahead and do my octopus here so i'm going to do my octopus with the uh, parakeet party another new in color i'm going to ink this up really well with the parakeet party. And then I'm going to take one of these sponge daubers and I'm just gonna roll it around in that sweet sorbet ink and just kind of brush it, like tap it on the bottom of my octopus. This is just to give it more than one color. This is a distinctive stamp, which are, those are cool because they already give you that, that two tone, but this way, we're kind of making it four tone because we're going to do the sweet sorbet along with it. So get those out of the way. We'll stamp this guy. Okay, so you can see he's kind of multicolored there, which I thought worked well with the octopuses. 
I hope everybody's weather was gorgeous today here in Mid Missouri. It was absolutely beautiful. I was able to spend some time out on the patio enjoying the weather. It was kind of cool this morning, but this afternoon the sun popped up. It was awesome. I had a lot of blogs and business stuff to do, so I spent the afternoon doing that outside. Okay, and there's your little jellyfish that we use with that Orchid Oasis ink. So when I first saw these new in colors um, on Facebook, hey Karen, thanks for joining me. I was, I'll be honest, I wasn't super excited about them, but man, I've got them in my hands and ugh, I don't know, they may be better than last year's, which is a hard beat. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and die cut these. And I found something super interesting tonight. I don't know if anyone's discovered this or not, but I was coming into my daughter's room where I do this, and those pads fit right on the tops. They slide right under the handle for travel. So I thought that was super cool. All right, I've got my mini cut and emboss, which I'm gonna set right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take plate one and one of the plate twos, and I'm gonna pull out my die set. So Mary, you've already done that. That's awesome. I just never even noticed that until tonight. And I care, I take mine with me quite a bit. So I've just got a little bit of tape here that I'm gonna put here to make sure that it's not going to slide around. I do have some good news. It looks like the magnetic plate for the big cut and emboss is going to be available soon. Not for the mini yet, though. That's the one I'm looking forward to. All right, we'll just take this on here. Give it a little roll. So this entire, well, most of this set can be used um, in the mini. The big panel you have to use the big die cut machine for. All right, we'll pop those out, set them to the side. I'm gonna save this tape for the next time because I like to use it more than once because I'm cheap like that. All right, now I will take out my octopus guy. And it looks like I've got some remnants from the last one I cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those out just because I don't want it to interfere with these. All right. I'm gonna tape, hopefully you guys can see that. And hopefully this won't cut perfect. I know the magnetic plates are one, of, I don't know. I've got so much on my wish list, I had, it's, growing by the day. Um, the masking tape sounds awesome. So I just, every time I go through the catalog, I find something new that wasn't on my list before. Okay, there's my octopus guy. And then we'll go ahead and cut a piece of granny apple green for some of that side algae. And the great thing about this little guy is he just cuts really easily and he's small and you can take him wherever you're going. So there we go. We've got just a little bit of algae. I'm going to go ahead and pop out all of these little remnants so he'll be ready to go in. All right, I'm going to fold that up. Heck yeah for the discount, Mary. I joined for the discount and now, whew, thank goodness, I'd be in real bad trouble if I wasn't doing getting the discount. All right, so as Mary said earlier, this is a piece of the Tahitian Tide cardstock that I embossed with the bark embossing folder, and this one is going away. 
Um, if you don't have it, I would get it quickly um, because it, it works really well for that tree bark, but I also think it works just like for the ripples of water in that ocean. Um, it'll look beautiful with the Let's Sales set um, that's coming out on May 3rd. So that's a really good versatile and it's not overpowering. Some embossing holders can be just too, too over empowering, but this one I think is really subtle. So I like it a lot. This is a piece of the in color uh, DSP, as I said, and what I did was I just die cut it with this larger piece right here. Now, it doesn't cut the outside, so you need to make sure that you find a piece that fits and how you want it, and then it'll cut out just that inside to create that panel for you. So we're gonna start adhering the card and putting it together. I'm gonna take some stampin' or dimensionals. Oh, and see, look at the back of this paper. Look how gorgeous that is with the flowers. That just does it by itself. You can add a sentiment, maybe a couple of embellishments and ribbon, and you've got yourself a beautiful card without doing much work. Okay. Take off these backs. And if you've never seen me do this, you'll notice that I only use half dimensionals. I like it because um, you're not using quite as many and still getting quite a bit of bang. So you get twice as many, but also it gives you more area to work with. Okay, so it's gonna go out just a little bit. I've got a little bit of edge hanging off. So I like to do those half dimensionals just because I like to slide branches and things underneath them, leaves underneath. And sometimes if you have that full dimensional, it doesn't work really well. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to take my, scissors, my paper snips and I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this off because I wanna file, uh, slide it down here but it doesn't necessarily need to go all the way down. So I'm just gonna decide where I want to put that and take a little bit of liquid adhesive, just put it along there and slide it. Oops, that got caught. Just slide it down where I want it. Seal it down, okay. Now we're gonna take our die cuts. So the first thing I'm gonna do with my octopus here is you probably can't see it on the screen, but if you'll notice, he's got two eyes that don't show up really well. So I'm gonna take just a black marker and just kind of dot where I can see those eyes at. That way they are actually visible. So let's, all right. So I'm gonna kind of place him right there. So I'm gonna put that Stampin' Dimensional just on this one side and then I'm gonna use liquid adhesive on the other part of the body down here because I already have dimension down there. All right, we'll peel this away. And there we go. We'll take our little crab guy. And how cute is he in that sweet sorbet? I didn't know if that would work, but once I started pulling out some of these colors, it really did. Put him right there. And obviously we're gonna pop him up just a little bit more. And then we'll finally add our jellyfish. Using dimensionals on all of this. So I've got a piece of Orchid Oasis cardstock that I folded at a five and a half. So this is four and a quarter by um, 11 folded at five and a half. And I'm going to add a little stamp and seal to the back to put them on the front. that piece and I think 
the only thing we have left here is the sentiment, which we will stamp in the Orchid Oasis. And we're just gonna use that Seize the Day stamp set, or sentiment. And then I'll fussy cut that out. I love these colors too, Mary. I think they're so much fun. I played with these colors all day long yesterday. I could not get enough of them. And like I said, when I first saw them, I was like, oh, there's so many blues. But I can't imagine not having one of them. All right, just taking my paper snips and doing a real quick trim. So you don't always have to have a die to, to cut out your sentiment. Sometimes just a small little thing is all you need. We'll take a little liquid adhesive, put it on there. I thought I had a pair of tweezers in here, but I guess I don't. I feel lost without them. Okay, and then we will finish the front off with a few of the polished dots. So I use the clear ones on this. And I'm taking using my take your pick tool to pull those off pretty easily and decide where I want them. There we go. All right, so that's the front of the card, super easy. But man, how cute is that? This would be great for any little kid, you know, um, that ocean lover that cannot get enough of the summer, anybody. All right, for the inside, I am going to take my Parakeet Party ink and I am going to ink up this algae or water plant or whatever it is. and ink it up really well. And just put it down here on the side. Now, I think I want to add just a little fish. Let's see here, what color are we gonna do the fish in? Um, let's do it in or Orchid Oasis. So we'll add a little bit of fish there. There we go. And now we'll throw in the sentiment. We'll do that in Orchid Oasis as well. So because this is a cling stamp, I'm going to go ahead and test it and see... Yeah, that's a little off. Okay. So your stickers are not always gonna be perfect on these. Let's try that one more time. Here we go, that's a little better. Okay. And then finally, let's add just a few of those bubbles in the Tahitian Tide because we need to use that ink. Just do it above. There we go. adhere that to the inside of our card. Tomorrow, all of the dimensions will be on my blog for all of the pieces. So don't forget to check that out. All right, trying to be careful and not smear any ink here that I've got on my fingers. So there's your card front. That's the entire card, I guess. Super cute, super fun. 
Now, of course, no card would be complete without a matching envelope. So I've cut out some cardstock or some DSP that's going to match that we're going to adhere to the back. But let's go ahead and put one of those cute little octopuses back on there because that's that guy is too sweet. And I love that we can do it in those two different colors and kind of make every one of them look a little bit different. So we'll pull him out again, ink him up in the parakeet party, add a little bit of our sweet sorbet, and since we just used this, I think we can get, there we go. So we're going to stamp him off right here on the side, and it's okay if he goes kind of off of the page a little bit. I'm gonna take that black marker again and just put his eyes where they need to be. Just a little dot, dot, dot is all it takes. And we'll add a little bit of that adhesive. I'm gonna line that up. I just poke my fingers up at the top just to make sure that it's it's even. This guy's a little bit over. Seal it down and cut him with my paper snips. All right, so we're getting much closer to the um, New catalog, don't forget I've got my product share out there. That information is on my blog. So just a little snippet and sample of everything. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. So here's today's card, Seize the Day. Wishing you oceans of happiness. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you spending part of your Sunday night with me. Rosie, thanks so much, I appreciate it. Um, you guys have an amazing rest of your week or start of the week, and I will see you here next Sunday. Thanks.